Hello everybody and welcome on my journey to watch 500 films in one year. The next two films I watched were Now You See Me and Now You See Me Too. Now You See Me is about an FBI agent and an Interpol detective who track a team of illusionists who pull off bank heists during their performances and reward their audiences with money. Now You See Me Too rejoins the Four Horsemen as they are forcibly recruited by a tech genius to pull off their most impossible heist yet. I would count myself as a fan of magic and there have been some amazing movies made about magicians and some awful movies made about them. Now You See Me is very well made. It manages to get the audience invested from the very start of the movie with an introduction to each character and plot shrouded in mystery regarding why they have been brought together. The plot is intricate but is set up just like a magic trick and easy but satisfying to follow and it's great fun to try to guess the truth about what's going on. The actors chosen for the leads were all brilliantly cast, all are perfect for their roles and I found that the effects used were sparse but effective. I found an interesting article, see the description section of the review, about how real the magic tricks are in the movie and if the eye really exists. Now You See Me Too is just as slick in terms of style as the first movie, but I would say that I found Now You See Me slightly more concise and compact. There is an excellent summary of events at the start to bring the audience up to speed, and the mostly returning cast is joined by Lizzie Kaplan, who I quite like. The story arc is not one I was expecting, and there are some amazing magic sequences, but I found most of the fight scenes too frenetic, meaning a lot of the choreography was lost. I was interested to find out if the world's oldest magic shop was indeed in Macau, and I can report that it isn't. The oldest magic shop in the world is actually Mayette Modern Magic in Paris, which was originally opened in 1808, and also earned the distinction as the first magic store in the world to sell magic tricks and tools to the public. All in all, I would say that I preferred Now You See Me, but I really like both movies and look forward to seeing Now You See Me 3, which is currently in development. A big thumbs up for both of them from me. Please join me for my next review, where I'll be talking about all of director Mickey Keating's work to date. Thanks for taking the time to listen, and I hope to hear from you soon.